Hello and welcome to this week's edition of CTN Community Update. The snow followed by the coldest temperatures in more than two decades brought many normal activities to a halt this week. In addition to school being canceled for four days, the Coon Rapids Recycling Center closed for three days. But the one thing the cold didn't stop was a meeting on Minnesota's other season, road construction. Several brave souls showed up at the Coon Rapids City Center on Tuesday night to learn more about the city's street reconstruction program for 2019. They checked out maps and got a rundown of the major projects planned this summer. The city hosts several open houses to educate the public on the process and answer questions. What our process is for evaluating which streets are to be reconstructed, we look at the cracks and roads. They start by this uh, upper left picture. Uh, roads start to crack uh, with longitudinal cracks and then they progress to what we call block cracking. That happens a lot because we have manholes, a lot of valves and manholes on our city streets, so you get what's called block cracking, typically a fair street. And then you get down here, I realize it's hard to see. A lot of cracks focused together is alligator cracking, and then we have crack erosion, and that's when we call a street poor. This year's street reconstruction program involves improving about 9.6 miles of streets in Coon Rapids. City utilities beneath or adjacent to streets are also repaired or replaced when necessary. The majority of the cost for street reconstruction is paid for by the city, but a small portion is assessed to the benefiting properties. The assessment hearing will take place during the February 19th City Council meeting. The 11th annual Community Wellness Day returned to Coon Rapids Middle School last weekend, offering free classes and information on how to improve your health. As CTN's Dan Carpenter explains, staying healthy means a lot more than getting a medical checkup. For half a day, the Coon Rapids Middle School opened its doors to learning for everyone. Age 0 to 99, there is something for you at this event. The free class offerings at Community Wellness Day yeah. motivated 9-year-old Xavier to pick up a bow and improve his archery skills. Nice. Um, my favorite part about it is um, when on like my second shot, I would get the balloons. When it comes to hitting the bullseye of personal wellness, Anoka Hennepin School's community education says there are many areas for us to work on. I think so many people always think diet and exercise, diet and exercise, but really we, there's so much more to us, right? And so we're finding out that we need financial health because if, if, if you're in financial struggle, not only the stress involved, but you can't afford to buy the healthy foods. Straight out. Exercise, like you get from a session of Tai Chi, is important. But those who attended Saturday's event also learned about the potential for all of us to live healthier and happier. Wellness is about believing that you're worth the investment. David Law, superintendent of Anoka Hennepin Schools, has worked in public education for more than three decades. The happiest people have something that they're passionate about. He told his audience to remember the words, believe, explore, schedule, together. Be your best to do your best. He asks, what does your schedule say about your priorities? You got a plan to eat healthy, because if you don't have a plan, it won't be healthy. Errand. Errand's there. Dozens of children found many whiskered reasons to smile. I will not eat them with a mouse as they read books to certified therapy dogs. The whole idea behind Read to a Dog is, is sometimes children don't like reading to adults. They think they're going to be judged. The, um, if they make a mistake, they're going to be reprimanded. Well, a dog doesn't care. When we feel well and we are at our best, it is so much easier to tackle whatever comes your way in life. More than 40 local health and wellness vendors were on hand to help tackle those obstacles. Bring in the community and offer them one day where they can see all of the resources right here in their own community. Finding the resources and learning the skills to live our best. For CTN Update, I'm Dan Carpenter. All the classes offered during Community Wellness Day are available throughout the year through Anoka Hennepin Community Education. To learn more, visit discovercommunityed.com. 
A big announcement this week from organizers of the 3M Open, the new PGA Tour event that's replacing the 3M Championship in Blaine. The Grammy Award-winning rock group Zach Brown Band will be performing a live concert at the National Sports Center following second-round competition on July 6th. A fireworks show will follow the concert. Tickets can be purchased by logging on to 3mopen.com. The golf tournament runs July 1st through the 7th at the TPC Twin Cities. There's still time to get involved in some of the festivities taking place during this year's Snowflake Day celebration. The Mayor's Cup Simulator Golf Tournament is going on tonight and tomorrow at the Bunker Hills Golf Club. Prizes will be awarded to the winners. Also on Saturday, a Carnival for Kids is taking place from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Sand Creek Elementary. In addition to Carnival games, prizes, face painting, and a DJ, there will be free magic show at noon. On February 9th, the Coon Rapids Junior Royalty Pageant and Ambassador Crowning is happening at 1 p.m. at Coon Rapids High School. Tickets can be purchased at the door. On February 10th, the Kids Medallion Hunt will take place at 1 p.m. at Fire Station 1. It's open to boys and girls ages 5 to 10. Also on the final day of the celebration, it's Family Fun Day at the Coon Rapids Ice Center from 3 to 7.30 p.m. There's lots to do, including cookies and canvas, indoor ice fishing, and even a light out glow skate. All right, that is going to bring it to the end of our show this week. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here again next week.